What's going on COG fans, Alex here from Unview Entertainment Gaming bringing you some Black Ops 2 Zombies and uh, I'm going to show you some Pack-A-Punch weapons guys, some of them that I definitely recommend and others that I do not. Now I'm going to specifically show you these weapons on Nuketown and here we go, I'm going to start off with the most simplest weapon I can find which is going to be this weapon right here, the Mystifier. Now the Mystifier is actually a good weapon if you want to get headshots. Uh, Pack-a-punched, it's really good, but it's not the most reliable weapon. Um, if you want to go out there between the waves of maybe 8 to 14 and just get some headshots in there, you know, feel free to do so. I mean, this is a great weapon for headshots. But uh, if, it's, if, if you're looking for a weapon that's going to last you uh, a very 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 long time this is not the weapon to do so but if you want to rack up some easy points like I am here just pop some heads uh, this is definitely the weapon to do so um, you can easily try to get a rape train going and just like line them all up and just start blasting heads off but uh, I, I'd, I'd, I'd recommend this gun for the low level rounds but definitely not for anything above round 15 definitely not but definitely moving on to the next weapon, my favorite, the FSIRT, possibly the best weapon in the game. As you can see right now, this is the type of weapon that's going to get you through a lot of rounds. Um, a big heavy machine gun once it's pack-a-punched, uh, great scope on it, lots and lots of rounds. So it's definitely going to keep you going. If you're looking for a weapon to get you through the day, this is the weapon. You see the scope right here, just scopes in and you can just target the enemy right away. But, um, like I said, oh wow, another nuke. <laughs> if you're looking to get past a lot, a lot of rounds, guys, I'm talking about between the waves of maybe 15, as you can see right here, it's my kills and whatnot. Between the, uh, between the waves of 15 and maybe 30, this is definitely the weapon to have. This weapon will rack you up a lot of kills. Uh, it's gonna suck if you don't have a uh, quick reload, but uh, other than that, I mean, you can see right here, it targets the uh, enemy specifically, so you can know, you know, who's where and, you know, how many enemies you have left. But uh, definitely a gun I recommend if you pack a punch and get a uh, quick reload. Uh, if not, you're screwed for reloading. But uh, definitely a weapon that's going to get you through the rounds without a shadow of a doubt. Definitely one I recommend for zombies. A must-get gun. Now, moving on to the sledgehammer, guys. Now, this gun is very effective, but not for high rounds. Uh, this is the gun that I would definitely recommend between the rounds of maybe 10 to 23. Because uh, the reason why I say that, it's it has a lot of ammunition and whatnot. But uh, as you can see right here, my kills and my score. Um, it has a lot of ammunition, but its firepower isn't as deadly as, uh, say, the FSIRT or, you know, other weapons like the ray gun. Uh, but this weapon will definitely rack you up a bunch of kills, a bunch of points. Uh, will it get you to round 30, 40, 50, 60? Probably not. Let's test this theory out right here. Uh, I am at a low level, level 13 right now. I got max ammo and an insta-kill. Uh, with an insta-kill, this will definitely work out for the best. You have lots of ammo to spare if, if there's a lot of enemies. You don't want to go off knifing them because what if it's a situation like this? You don't want to run off knifing because you're going to get yourself down possibly. But um, definitely a gun I recommend between the rounds of maybe 10 and 23. Uh, it'll rack you up a lot of points if you want points. Definitely the gun to use. Um, it's not going to get you very, very, very far, but it's definitely one of the best ones in the game. Uh, just without a shadow of a doubt, I definitely recommend it. If you pick this gun up, save it, pack a punch it, and then just use that, use that to score points, score kills, and uh, save up for another gun. That's my recommendation for this gun right here, the Sledgehammer, folks. Alright, moving on. Next up is the Cobra, guys. Now, I do not recommend this gun at all. Uh, even though it is a Magnum that has been pack-a-punched, uh, definitely not something to use between uh, rounds 14 and whatnot. I mean, granted, it might do you some good, but in the long run, it's definitely not going to benefit whatsoever. It's just going to get you down or whatnot in, in, a, in a very sticky situation. Um, between the rounds of maybe 10 and 16, I would recommend this gun. As you can see right here, my points and skill and kills and whatnot. But, um, but definitely not something to use in higher rounds. Next up, guys, my favorite, the Punisher device. Now, the Punisher is actually one of the best guns in the game. Uh, that and the FSIRT. This weapon is a pack-a-punched uh, RPD, and it's very, very good, guys. If you want to definitely, this is a gun that will get you through the rounds. This is a gun that will get you in the 30s and 40s and whatnot. Um, that is until if you run out of ammo. Definitely get quick reload because this gun will do you good. Uh, without a shadow of a doubt, guys, this is the gun to have. Pack-a-punch it. Uh, get double tap if you have to, but this is the gun that will save you from sticky situations. And uh, very, very powerful, very effective, and definitely something I would recommend to everybody because this is the gun and this is where it should be. 
And uh, without a shadow of a doubt, this will get you through the rounds. Definitely a gun that will save you. Now, I died, guys, but I came back, and I came back with Mustang and Sally. Now, this is a pack-a-punched pistol. This could be a good thing and a bad thing. Uh, these pistols are very powerful. As you can see right here, I had to restart because I died. Um, these are grenade launchers, guys, and this is very good and very effective for long-range distance. Definitely not up close. If you want to go up close with these things and you want to start blasting, hey, be my guest. You'll be on the ground before you know it, as you can see right there, that nuke. But uh, this is definitely a gun that will bring them to their knees. If you want to create some crawlers for later on down the road, this is, this is definitely the gun to do so. But it's very dangerous to have it up close. I would recommend this gun between the rounds of maybe 7 to maybe 17, if that. Uh, you can keep these guns just in case if you want to get some crawlers. But other than that, if you want to make it high up in the rounds, this is not the weapon to use because... There's going to come a situation where hordes of zombies are going to surround you and they're going to charge you and you have no other choice but to shoot. And when you shoot, you're obviously going to lower your shields if you're using Juggernaut. And once that happens, you'll go down on the ground and you're fucked. So uh, this is the weapon that I do not recommend for high rounds. But if you want to create some crawlers, have fun. Why not? Now, speaking of pistols, the next one on the list is the 4600. Now, this pistol pack-a-punched is not the best pistol the only reason why i say that is because it's very very weak and it's round burst is very very low look at that right there i mean it's, it's good for maybe round 10 11 12 13 14 15 if that if you get lucky to make it to 15 but uh other than that the weapon sucks it truly does uh if you pack a punch this weapon you're wasting your time but uh other than that if you want to use it in low rounds feel free to do so uh, if you if you're expecting to go high rounds with this weapon you will die so easily you'll you'll you won't even know what hit you 